Imagine being able to use tanks and some combined arms like infantry against some alien bugs. Well recently, I was able to play the new early access game called Silica by a dev that is supported by Bohemia Incubator which is underneath Bohemia, the same devs as Arma. And this game is an RTS and FPS fusion. You can either play as a commander above by building and giving out commands, or you can play as a soldier or a bug. And for those who love watching my tank stuff, well, you get to control some armored fighting vehicles. For those who don't know, my name is Fan Fantasy, and I play tactical and games. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave that like and make sure to subscribe. It will mean a lot to support my channel. I don't usually cover real-time strategy games, but since this is a mix of a few things here, I do want to tell you my first impression and the potential that it has. To start off, there are three main factions. You got two human factions who will be fighting for resources, and you got the native alien bugs who can swarm you. And all three are playable factions. In the story, humans have discovered a rare mineral called silica in the planet of Bolteris. It is a desert-like planet. As I said before, you can play this in first person or third person or even as an RTS. Currently, there are three game modes. Prospector, which is basically an FPS mode that acts as a tutorial. There's the strategy, which is both RTS and FPS. And arena, which is a free-for-all that you can try out for weapons and vehicles. There are also different classes for both humans and aliens. You can play this online or single player with up to 12 people or 32 in arena mode. So what are my impressions so far? Well, first of all, the visuals and the graphics are very nice and stunning. It reminds me of Starship Troopers with some Doom vibes, which is very likely where this game is inspired from. In the FPS mode, it does feel like an actual FPS, and you can tell they actually did put in some effort into this, and I could see how this game could potentially attract people who aren't really into RTS into this game. However, I do think there's still some work to be done, like the animations for reloading or other assets. The RTS mode is pretty much classic, where you have to go out and mine for resources, build factories and units. You can command a single unit to attack or to scout out ahead. For a lot of my viewers who like tank stuff, well, the tank and IFV models are really nice and they do fit in the setting. However, it is hard to aim accurately with just third person. If they were to add a gunnery view, that would help a lot, especially in long range shots. Some of the tanks are a little too slow, especially if the maps are too big, which is another comment I do have. What's also really cool is that some of the vehicles, like the giant harvesters, do have interiors in them, which you can go up and walk, and you can also control them directly to mine resources. Also, do you want to talk about the hood? It, to me, it's a little too busy. There's a lot of information that I don't really need to know necessarily at the moment. So if they could minimize it and make it clean, I think it will benefit a lot in terms of the visuals. My personal opinion, the commander mode or the RTS mode could be a little bit more intuitive. The heads up display for it is a little lacking. I was also hoping that you could control existing units in the battlefield. But instead, when you switch from commander mode to infantry, you'll spawn as a new unit. I'm not too sure why that's the case, but it'd be great if you can control a vehicle or a unit that's already in the battle since the maps are huge. You don't want to be stuck marching or waiting for a vehicle to come out. But don't expect Silica to be a call to arms or a gates of hell kind of RTS. Currently, the game is $19.99 and it'll increase to $24.99 USD after early access. For the price of this, I think it's not too bad, but there's a lot of potential. Personally, I would like to see a roadmap of this game. Perhaps that might help you to determine if you want to purchase this. Concept design of having an FPS and RTS is very unique, and I can see that in this early access title. Like I said in my impressions, there's a lot to be improved and added, so don't expect this to be perfect at this moment. Either if you're an FPS or an RTS player, you'll definitely find your way of playing, and I think there's a, a potential to really crack this fusion genre. Again, it is an early access title, so it's up to you, but if you want to wait and see, that's up to you. I would definitely recommend waiting for a roadmap development, and maybe that will help you to determine if you want to purchase this. But it's not a bad showcase at this moment, if you don't mind the small bugs at the moment, no pun intended. And for some gameplay, I know a lot of you who watch my videos love vehicles and tanks, so I'll show you guys some tank actions against some aliens. And it's not bad, it's pretty fun, I'm enjoying it so far. And I think this game does have some good potential to do some tank runs against some alien bugs. 
Let me know in the comments what you think about this game and will you be getting it as well. Don't forget to leave that like if you enjoyed this and subscribe to stay up to date or you can join my discord for more discussion and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Stay blessed.